breaking news into ESPN. Adrian Wojnarowski just tweeted that Knicks for Julius Randle will undergo season-ending surgery on his right shoulder. Randle has spent two months trying to rehab that injury, suffered back on January 27th against Miami. Ugh, this has been the story for the Knicks, having such a promising season, but dealing with a myriad of injuries. Another hit for Stephen A. Smith this morning. Uh, Brian Winhorse also here with us. Wendy, great to have you back with us. Monica, obviously you cover this team. Do you want me to start with Monica or do you, you want to take a moment? How do you want to play this out? I'm talking to you, big time. <laughs> It's like a black cat's running around the franchise. I know. 24 and 9, 47% shooting. OG and Anobi arrives. They got the best record in the month of January. They got an opportunity with Milwaukee looking suspect. You're right. Miami looking suspect at times. Joel Embiid injured. Not the music, y'all. <laughs> Well, it is kind of they, sad. They, 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 they had a chance to get to the conference finals against Boston. And then this happens. Is this a piano? I cannot say this music is, is this for real. instrumental? Is this piano? It's like Young it and is, Restless. What's happening? Oh, it's, it's like Stephen A's theme music. It, you, you can't make it up, man. You, just go. <laughs> just, just go. Just, just go. Oh. I am not laughing at the situation. The music has me tickled. Uh, Wendy, please say something informative about this. <laughs> so I, I just so so that fans understand. Um, Julius Randle was probably always going to need surgery on this injury. Um, when you dislocate your shoulder, a lot of times you're going to need that surgery. Sometimes you can rehab to strengthen the muscles around it so that you can kind of get through a season to delay surgery so you can play. That's what he was going for. Had he had surgery immediately after this injury, he still would have been out for the rest of the season. This wasn't a situation where if he had had surgery two months ago, he'd have been back for the playoffs. It's a five-month recovery timeline for this type of procedure. In fact, him having surgery now, he's not even for sure going to be able to start next season. That's how oh, long the boy. timeline is. So that's, that's one thing you just need to understand. The second thing I'm going to say is just because Julius Randle is out doesn't mean that the Knicks – have no chance of making a playoff run. I think I think the team kind of knew for the last, you know, couple of weeks that Julius's return was not going to happen. In fact, um, earlier this week, Josh Hart said, look, we're operating as if uh, Julius isn't coming back. Um, or he said, we're, we're just going to assume that they're not coming back. Uh, the key thing, Stephen A., is whether OG Ananobi can come back because he's dealing with this elbow issue this is a he's already had surgery. This is a, a reaggravation of it. They're 15 and two when OG plays. OG can fill some of the gap that Julius, um, you know, they lose with Julius, and they are a very potent team with OG. So I would just say that while while Randall's loss is hurtful, with these other teams in the East all having issues, the Cavs and Donovan Mitchell having issues with his knee, the um, the the you know the issues with you know you're not really sure whether Philly's going to even be able to make it into the top six. They got to win their way in. Miami has been up and down throughout the year. Milwaukee, as we know, is is uh, suspect even at the best of times. The Knicks can still make something happen here. They you know if they end up with the Cavs in the first round, they've owned the Cavs the last couple of years. So I don't think this is you know doom and gloom. I don't think they're they would beat the Celtics in this series, but I'm not sure they would have beaten them even if Randall was healthy. Geez, Stephen A., it's going to be all right. I, listen, I tend to choose optimism, and yes, I cover this team. I'm with you, Wendy, in that OG Ananobi has the opportunity to be a difference maker. It is an interesting year in the Eastern Conference, literally the only team that has separated themselves, as the standings have shown and as we have discussed ad nauseum, is the Boston Celtics. And so everybody otherwise is dealing with some level of injury, to your point. Uh, Jalen Brunson continues to have a masterful year. Dante DiVincenzo has the ability to light it up from behind the three-point line. Uh, Mitchell Robinson is back and is healthy. And so I think, of course, a Tom Thibodeau-led team, a Jalen Brunson-led team are not hanging their, ha hanging their head at this point. Um, but you do certainly have concerns about their depth. And so now you hope 
that the elbow does not keep OG Ananobi away too long. Do you I want just, a cupcake or like what you know, would cheer just, you up right I'm now? Just, it's just snack. You know, I'd give you a hug, but it would turn into a meme. Contrary, <laughs> contrary, contrary to 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 what people believe, you know, Eminem, Brian, you know, I am a nice guy. You know, I try, I try to do the right thing. When you're in a good mood. I try to do the right things. You know, I love the Lord. I pray every morning. I pray every night. You know, I, I, I pray every morning. I, I, every morning. Every wow. morning. Every night. You know, I, I mean, I, I give back. You know, as best as I possibly can. I, I try to do so many. I, all I've ever asked, all I ever ask is, is for the Knicks. I just <laughs> breathe. I breathe, just breathe. Let it out. Breathe. It, it's breathe. It does. There's always something. Something. Damn it! It's not Wanna try to post that what I look like? Right? I'm gonna try to wear a pull up all right. Jimmy with the heat. Come on, five. It's CDA on the issue, bro.